So let's say this is a video track about the a person, a girl walking from left to right. So what is the motion here that is being tracked? So we propose that the student start with a simple model of zero force. So to activate the force model, you need to select dynamic particle, Cartesian coordinate. And we have already pre-made one called the no force model. So in this particular model, the X and the Y forces are zero. So let's see what happens if you were to visualize this within the tracker interface. So notice that I'm going to compare it with the various model tracks on the right panel. And you can see that these various green lines, which is the zero force model, shows that there is actually no force acting on the particle. Therefore, the object does not move. So unsatisfied with this model, the student need to propose a better model. So let's say it assumes that it is a constant speed model. And let's see, because I already pre-made this, so let's visualize it and see what can we can see. So in this constant speed model, it appears that the model proposed by the student is now faster than the person that is moving. So as you can see evidently on the three scientific graphs on the right as I activate them you can see that there is actually a great difference between the actual data in red and the model proposed by the student so if let's say the student is continue to propose a con uh, constant acceleration model so by doing some data analysis the student will be able to come up with these numbers of which now I'm going to activate the visualization and you can see now that the model proposed uh, as a constant acceleration is slightly a better match but still faster than the real motion as you can see from the graphs so from the left panel the real world and the various right panels on the right to show the scientific view so finally having analyzed the video to a great extent the student may be able to propose a model that will match the motion pretty well which is uh, using an if statement so if time is lesser than 0 0.8 seconds it is a constant acceleration motion uh, beyond that it is a uniform speed so let's see how this model matches up to the real motion that was videotaped so close the panel and you can see now by visualizing it let's uh, activate the various graphs to see ahead of the as we played it on tracker and you can see now that we can see that the red row motion and the proposed new model d is actually a very close fit now as opposed to the initial first three models